the sneaky things about tonight. Tonight we've got Hadron Linux, based on Gen 2. Pretty cool. Live CD I've got here, but it's really made for live USB. But we'll give it a go. So here we go. Scroll down. Four icons, home file system trash, and there's my CD and my drive. XFC as your interface on this version. There are two versions. We'll go through the focus with terminal, file manager, web browser, settings, all the usual XFCE stuff there, nothing different too much. All I will say is it's pretty quick, very, very quick. Bear in mind it's live CD. Squeezes in there and accessories, task manager. We'll look the task manager up and you'll see what I mean. Now, if you look down here, 31% of your CPU being used, most of that is from the task manager. It's using hardly any RAM whatsoever, so, you know, or memory, whatever we'll call it. So, yeah, pretty cool. Just don't use task manager. So, we'll get rid of that. We'll quit out of there. Go back to the menu one more time. Settings. I was going to do nothing boring, boring, boring. Yeah, but it's all there, though. Genie for your text editor. You only get an image viewer. Basic audio mixer. No big deal there. Namorica for your web browser, which is Firefox based or WebKit, one or the other. And in system, all the usual, really. And Thuna for your file manager. So, yeah, that's pretty okay. So, we'll open up the web browser. It automatically finds your network for you if you're on a wired network, so that's pretty cool as well. I like that bit. Sam works fine for me. Also pretty cool. And it's easy to set up your um, your view on what you're looking at. Sorry about that, I have to move. So anyway, we'll go to the Hadron Linux page. There we are. Googled it straight away there. Tells you all about it. It's a Gen 2 based binary and portable Linux operating system. Very good. And it uses a new tool, which I'm going to go to in a minute. It's called LPMS. Now, LPMS is what they use to install new modules or programs, whatever you want to call it. And it's text based but it runs in a Python, which is a bit different, isn't it? So anyway, we'll go there and here it is, just a little guide on how to do it. I'm just gonna run through some of the commands with you. So got my old terminal out, busted him out of the can, you know what I'm saying? Right, what you first want to do is become root really, isn't it? So you'll put SU and ask for the password, which is Hadron in this case. So you type password in and now we're root. So what should we do? Well, it wants you to update, really, so first we'll do LPMS hyphen hyphen update. Enter, and whoosh, there we go. That works. Didn't seem to have much updating, though, but never mind. Remember, this is an alpha. I forgot to tell that. It's an alpha. It's an alpha. So, what else we do? I'll tell you what, we'll go to the help page. So, LPMS again, as you can see, hyphen and H, comes with all of the stuff you want to do in the terminal. To do stuff. Look at that. So we're going to do something else here. So what we're going to do? I tell you what, we're going to search for something. So if we go onto the terminal again, be LPMS space hyphen hyphen search, and then space and the program you want to search for. So I'm just going to chuck in every word here just for a laugh. Of course it's there. It should be there. Bearing in mind it's Gen 2 based. So I'm going to try another one. Let's get a bit more difficult. LPMS space hyphen hyphen and we're going to go search and then space xvid cap come and type in catch up nothing there oh it's a bit of a bummer okay we'll search for one more I think just to make sure that it's got other stuff in it which I know as I've had a little play of it not too long though but I've had a little play so LPMS space hyphen hyphen search space uh, what should we put in I tell you what, we'll put in G numeric. That should should come up, shouldn't it, really? So there we go. Yes, it's there. So it all works pretty hunky dory. I've not actually installed anything yet. I'm doing a quick video to give you a quick overview for first. I'm going to be playing with it for another couple of days. I might come back with another video on it. Who knows? So to get Hadron, you can go to the main page, click on Get Hadron, and as you can see, there's a desktop version which I've got here, which is 299 megabytes. Now, bear in mind, it's from Turkey, so. It's pretty cool. It's another couple of distros they got from Turkey. Very good. The core system is like a non-X. It's terminal only. You install from there. So it would be no good for some of you. So just to test out the browser a bit longer, we're going to go to the Bubaka, go to the home page, make sure it all works. Text comes up nice. Not sure on the font, but I'm sure you can order that as you go. BBC iPlayer or any Flash playing will not work for the simple reason. You have to install Flash yourself from what I said earlier. But yeah, all works though. All works now on the whole i rather like hedron it's okay it's different it's in alpha so we ain't seeing the best of it just yet because they're still working on it but hey i'm going to give it a little play and see how we go sneaky linux out <laughs> 